Ni hao, this is Giga Titan bringing 118 Pokemon battle. No, I'm just kidding. But anyways, I'm unveiling a new team that me, my brother, and Zio all worked on last night. And we spent a probably a solid hour or two on designing this team. And it, it has a lot of guys that aren't normally used, but um, some guys are just like, you know, had to be used like Dust Noir and Magmortar, like so. And Exeggutor and Tentacruel aren't actually on the team. This is just, uh, they just were fillers for now, but I have two other guys. One is super awesome, the other is also super awesome, like really cool. So I'll just let you know, it's um, Hitmontop and a Rapidash, and they both are going to be expected in the next couple battles with this team. Uh, I'll have them done by then. But I really wanted to try this out and just see how it worked. So anyways, I uh, hope you guys like this. So I go ahead and I send out Shaman and Dust Noir, but it's not the typical Shaman. It is a really cool one that we came up with uh, with no outside help. But we switch out Shaman, and well, at least I do, and I send out Magmortar. Because I'm predicting the eruption, which is all too common, unfortunately. But so is Magmortar, but... Uh, I, s I just think he's cool, like, and I think he's pretty much a beast. So they used Hydro Cannon, would have hit Dust Noir, um, but it missed. And I used Pain Split because I want to restore my HP and I can lower the power of that eruption. So I used Psychic and I actually don't knock it out. I was like, darn it. I was hoping I would knock it out, but it's so close. Typhlosion uses Rock Slide, and that's a pretty cool Typhlosion because I haven't seen a mixed one before. So, anyways, they use the rocks that does a lot of damage. And Swarmbert uses Hydro Cannon. It's like, BAM! And I would have not used Hydro Cannon because, uh, you know, you could have used just like Earthquake or, well, maybe not Earthquake, but just like Waterfall or something would have knocked it out. But, oh well, unfortunately, I get flinched. So I send out Shaman again. And this is a physical Shaman. I know it's, it's, I'm sure some of you guys out there have done it before. Don't say, oh, you know, I did this first because we didn't, like, we didn't. No, we don't really know because I'm sure people have done it before, but it is a beastly shaman because, I mean, 328 attack is pretty good. You can do a lot with that. And it has sword stance because um, we can just, you know, power it up with that. I didn't actually know it had it until I actually looked it up. So they send out a Flygon, and I use Seed Bomb, and it just does a ton of damage. I mean, sure, it's a Swampert, but I was pretty impressed because Swamperts are pretty bulky, but easily knocks out Swampert. And so he goes down now, and I'm feeling pretty happy because this shaman is like, I'm like, whoa, this thing is actually really strong, and it's going, fa you know, it's going fast, being first. But then that fire blast is like, bam, in your face. But shaman is just a beast, and he can hang on, even in like, you know, just like if it's a fire blast, it doesn't. It's like, wow. So I will a wisp because I thought it was gonna dragon claw. But I guess it's a special one, so that was, you know, it was decent. But at least I can do a little burn damage. And they sent out their last guy, which is Porygon Z. I'm like, oh no, the dreaded Porygon Z who can, like, do a billion damage. So I go ahead and I use Seed Bomb on it. And it's like, bam, and it's like, and I'm like, oh, I was hoping to do a little more, but, eh. So Porygon Z uses Psychic and easily knocks out Shaman. I'm like, oh no, this isn't good. I'm down, I'm getting, you know. I'm losing all my guys, so like, oh no. So Shaman gets knocked out. And then Flygon uses Dragon Pulse, and it does not knock out Dust Noir, thankfully. But Dust Noir, with that sun backing up, uses a Fire Punch. It's like, it's a cool angle right there. Bam! But you'd think, oh, he got knocked out. But he actually survived with like one HP. I was like, ah, no. It's like, dang. It's not good. So I go ahead and I send him my last guy, which is Tangrowth, and I absolutely love Tangrowth, so that's why I put him on here, because he's just like a big spaghetti monster. And he uses Solar Beam and knocks out Flygon. I'm assuming it would have knocked it out, because Flygon doesn't have, doesn't have the best and other special defenses, but, I mean, seriously, like a stabbed uh, Solar Beam, I'm sure, would have knocked it out. And I finish it off, or finish off Porygon Z, cool angle again, with a Fire Punch. He's like, oh no... He had like one HP. So, anyways, I hope you guys like this new team. Uh, I'm definitely gonna be able to show off some of the other cool aspects that I didn't get to show in this battle. So, comment, rate, and subscribe. Thanks so much for you guys helping me get to 2,000 subscribers. And happy Mother's Day. Go do something nice for your mom. Your mom.